Hi, Trevor here with Running Warehouse with this week's vlog. And from Zoo, we have the Kalani. Uh, this is for those neutral runners that are looking for a high mileage training shoe. Um, as compared to other high mileage training shoes, the Kalani comes in at 10.1 ounces. Um, and say for like a Nimbus, which is a high mileage training shoe, it's about 12.2 ounces. So it's a huge weight difference, getting a lot uh, in the shoe. Uh, with Zoot and the Kalani, they use an asymmetrical lacing design for the contour of that foot, which is really nice. Um, you can be worn sockless. Um, great midfoot response, great cushion in the heel. So if you're either midfoot or heel striker, it's really awesome. Use that carbon fiber shank uh, for that springy toe off, a little extra support there. This is the Kalani from Zoot. Well, not to leave out the individuals who need some support that have overpronation. Uh, we have the Kane. This is very similar to the Kalini, it's just that they're having posting on the medial side. Again, using the same great features, uh, asymmetrical lacing design. They have a tech sheen upper, nice booty construction, really snug, secure fit, really fantastic. Can be worn sockless. This is the Kane from Zoot. Well, also from Zoot, we have the Capilani. Uh, this is a really performance oriented fit and feel shoe. Um, they have a nice aggressive open mesh uh, upper, so it bring, gives a lot of breathability. Asymmetrical lace design, uh, really nice, really contours that foot. I've run the shoe myself, it's pretty darn comfortable. Um, great outsole design, especially for that road surface. Use that carbon fiber shank again, um, really providing that added support, real springy toe off. Well, from Pearl Izumi, um, we have the Isoseek 4. This is a well-balanced and cushioned trail shoe. It uses a seamless upper design. has a really nice aggressive outsole design to really give you track on those trails. But don't let it fool you though. It can be used for the road as well. So it has a nice versatile design on it. This is a great uh, shoe for the individuals who need a little more support. This is great for you. The Isoseek 4 also comes in a water resistant style as well, so to keep your feet nice and dry. Well, from Puma, we have the Road Racer 4. I mean, just holding it here, it just looks fast in my hand. This is a lightweight neutral trainer Road Racer. Uh, one of the things that Puma's done is they use a soft lining material, so it can be worn sockless uh, for those distances of 5 to 10K. It's really comfortable. I've run in this shoe myself. And let me tell you, it is pretty comfortable being uh, just barefoot inside of it. It has a KMS light midsole, so it keeps really low to the ground, um, low profile, really responsive on that midfoot, which I like. Um, and also, too, it has cushion in the heels. So if you are a little uh, heel or a heel striker a little bit, it has a little in the back for you. Again, this is the Puma. This is the Road Racer 4. It's a fantastic shoe. I mean, it just looks good, but it's got performance. Well, from CWX, we have the Revolution Tight. And Revolution it is because it has an exoskeletal, seamless um, web design. So it really helps protect uh, your IT bands and supporting the knee area to keep it from uh, impact on those knee joints. Uh, it's really nice, really comfortable. So as you can see here with the CWX Revolution Tight, it does have the exoskeletal, seamless uh, Kinesio web design. It's great for those IT bands uh, supporting around the knee area as well. Uh, this also helps with reduce any type of muscle fatigue that you may occur uh, during exercise. It comes in a UPF 40, so definitely have that sun protection uh, while you're out and running. This is the CWX Revolution Tight. Well, for more info on these items, please take a look at the product pages. I'm Trevor the Running Warehouse. We'll see you next time.